Hello there, and welcome back to more DML. So today, we are going to be hatching a new dragon. So this is the Gondola Dragon, which is the current dragon of the week, and I love his egg. It's just so bright and colourful, and, you know, I've always said it, I love the sort of Asian-themed dragons, and, you know, the Imperial being my favourite dragon in the game, pretty much. I love little dragons like this. So... The Vikings should start wearing ponchos because you're sure to make a big splash against them with the Gondola Dragon. And so, the Gondola Dragon is basically based off of like the huge Chinese boats or gondolas where, you know, you can go in them and they're just these huge dragon shaped boats. But very cool looking dragon in game and IRL. But this epic, he is a water, fire, and light dragon. Not that great of an epic overall, definitely more of a collector's piece, especially for me. But I love him. I love him with all my heart. And he has probably the most clown looking lips out of any dragon in the game. Look at those lips! Oh! It's kind of weird because his top lip is like bright red and his bottom lip is pink. That's actually the first time I've noticed that. That's super weird. What's wrong with you, Ebon? Actually, you know, I, I don't like that name. He's gonna be B Lips. The Big Lips. Almost sounds like a rapper's name. <laughs> what have I done to you, you poor little baby? You know, giving your child a name like that, I, I can imagine there'd probably be quite a lot of bullying. You know, I, I guess you just have to teach them to, you know, live with it. You're born with those lips. Those lips don't lie. You know, don't listen to the other kids gonna be big meanies to you. You know, why don't you just tell them you're a really good kisser? And actually, kids find that weird, don't they? They go like, ooh, cooties, it's the cootie guy. Um, I don't know where I'm going with this. But either way, like I said, I absolutely adore the design of this dragon and the other Asian-themed ones and... You know, it's really bright and colourful, and plus, he, he does kind of suit the little lake that we've got here quite well, since he is basically a boat. So, B-Lips, I'm a big fan of you. But let's take him into a quick fight, because I have never seen him before, and we rarely do fights with our low-level dragons. Like, to be honest, we rarely do, because I'm just so busy doing whatever the heck else we end up doing in a day. And where is he? There's B lips. And uh, let's put another water dragon in. So, uh, fine, we'll pop our Duskwing dragon in again. And yeah, we'll put our Marshmallow dragon in as well. I mean, when they're not upgraded, as always, they're going to be really weak. But just being able to look at these dragons, you know, we've got a boat, we have a severely oversized. Almost like a vampiric looking dragon, and we have a living marshmallow. So they're certainly an intriguing team overall. Oh, he survived! That was certainly very close. But you know, apart from that in DML, I mean, I really want to start hatching the other dragons that I had to sell to make space, but with the upcoming Divine event, you know, we have to, assuming we get all of the other divines, you have to hatch every single one of them before you can unlock Hathor. So we really need, like, three divine habitat spaces. And I don't know how we're going to make the space for that, because currently we have zero space. So I guess we could sell this fire habitat. So there's one divine habitat, but then we need two more. So, we're going to have to sell a ton of other stuff again, because we don't have any other duplicate dragons anywhere, as far as I'm aware. So, I don't know what's going to happen. I have no idea. Literally, I'm just... Why is he level 10? Why is Flap level 10? Actually, do we have any other level 10 dragons? Uh, that fight is probably too hard. Uh, yeah, sure, this one's probably fine. Uh, oh, we've got Korm as well. Okay, I didn't know. I thought that all of our dragons were basically like level 15 minimum at this point, but I guess not. 
I guess we've got a couple of level 10s left that we've just never bothered to upgrade for whatever reason. But the Blaze Bird is another dragon that I am such a massive fan of because, you know, there's a lot of dragons that are, you know, they're either cute or they're kind of weird looking. The Blaze Bird definitely is giving me, like, satanic vibes. Maybe that's just me. Maybe it is just me, but definitely, definitely a little bit spooky. Almost reminds me of the Black Knights in Dark Souls for some weird reason. I think it's just because the, the level that you used to fight them on was like... Or the, the main level that I remember that was really annoying, I think it was in 2, was where they were like surrounded by lava. So maybe that's where I'm getting the, the, the feeling of that being similar from. Because I'll, I'll, apart from that, like what similarities could DML possibly have to Dark Souls? Um... I don't know. It's like <laughs> going from the brightest, cuddliest game about collecting to, you know, murdering demons and gods and potentially, like, ruling the earth. Yeah, there's two very different storylines going on there, so I don't know where my mind gets the garbage like that from, but, you know, don't question it. Don't question it at all. And there we go, there's our quest. Let's just make sure we do our daily tasks, because... Need to get them out of the way at some point. Because every single day that I don't do my daily tasks is another day that we don't get the foxglove and we don't get the scout dragons. So we need to just sit down, go, no, stop being lazy, just do it. Even though the dragons aren't really worth anything, just do it anyway. Because, you know, that's the idea. you got to sit there, collect everything that you possibly can. Try your best. That's the purpose of the game. Although some people think that the purpose of DML is to, like, go and do dungeon fights and stuff like that. Personally, I'm like, eh, it's kind of boring, to be honest. But, you know, everyone has their own thing. Whether you're a battler, or you're a collector, or... I don't know, maybe you like singing songs about the dragons in the game or something. I don't know what you do with your spare time. Um, but that's also a possibility, I suppose. Can we not knock any of these out? Okay, good. I was gonna say, it looked like that was on the threshold of, like, just being enough to kill him. But these enemy dragons are very slowly but surely going to keep gaining levels because when uh, Archangel Dragon gets to a higher level, they will probably get up to the level 80 mark. I still don't think that we're going to struggle though. I really don't think that we're going to struggle with this dungeon still. Like a couple of times I've been like, oh, maybe, maybe we'll struggle. But you see, we still can one-shot enemy dragons without training, without... Clan Dragon Powers or anything like that. Well, we can do it to commons and uncommons. We can't do it to these guys here, which are like rares and epics. But we, we do get very close. And considering that the Lantern Dragon, you know, his attack is high, but he doesn't have the highest base attack out of a Legendary or Divine, obviously. So, if you have a different Divine that is... I guess, a tad stronger, you probably would be one-shotting these dragons. And again, this is when they're at level 77. So there, there is about three levels worth of difference. But level 80 to level 77 isn't that big of a difference, to be honest with you. And when you have four level 80s, it's assumed, obviously, that you're going to get take at least two of them into... You know, the first three fights, and then take two of them into the last three fights. So... I, d I, don't, I don't think the dungeon's as hard as people make it out to be, and I'm pretty sure I say this every time. And it's because since the last time I delved into the dungeon, I've seen more people going, These dungeon fights are impossible! How do you expect me to do it? I'm just like, I don't know, just don't have an awful team? I mean, my dragon team is not the best possible team ever. 
of course, because realistically we'd probably want something like the Tai Zenron instead, and if there is a new divine that's plant and shadowed, we'd want him instead. And you know, the Lantern Dragon's good for basically one-shotting easy dragons, but he's not that good at facing dragons of his own level that are like legendaries and that. Because he can't really one-shot them just with his fire or his light. So realistically I would want to replace our lantern dragon one day and I would be replacing Andy as well. But it depends on if there's a dragon actually worth it to do that with. And worth all the time and the effort, of course. There's another piece for the scout, so we're seven pieces in. And you're probably going, you only have seven pieces for the scout. What have you actually been doing? Yes, I know. I've been ignoring it. It's like when there's something annoying that you just don't want to deal with, you just sort of, you know, throw it to the corner of the room, pretend it doesn't exist. Um... That is not the way that you should deal with problems, just FYI, um, because inevitably they will always come back and you'll always have to deal with it in future anyway. But um, like I say, listen to what I say, not what I do. And by the way, we just got a Kitsune Dragon. Yay, I'm so happy we have another duplicate. You know, that would make so many people happy seeing that, but <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't pretend that I'm particularly pleased. I would rather, you know, just give me the gems. Just give me the gems for you instead. Base attack 59. Oh god, I forgot. The Kitsune is actually, like, awful, isn't it? it it's actually trash. Because a lot of people seem to like the design of the Kitsune, but I don't know what to say. If it's just an awful dragon, I I can't recommend for anyone to use it. I am very sorry. It's just the way that it is. But, anyway, I need to be looking out for a package and uh, other stuff today. So I am going to head off, but I'm happy that we've got the new dragon of the week. I have been trying to breed him a couple more times, but we haven't gotten lucky a second time. So... It's probably going to be the last attempt that I go for the gondola next, but we do have him. All that we have to do now is keep preparing for Monday, making sure we don't do anything stupid in the meantime, not putting in long food timers. Uh, you know, if you're like a day before the event, I'd suggest not putting dragons into the exploration stuff as well, just in case for some reason you need them. You know, it's just... Don't do anything that's going to hinder your chances, basically. But, for now, thank you for joining me. I love you, and until next time, I'll see you then.